All right, I think we're good. Let's see. Hey, everybody. How's it going tonight? Ooh, it's going pretty good for me. Um, I'm excited to be streaming again. I shouldn't be up this late, but some poor decisions have led me to basically being up this late forever. But I think we've got some cool stuff to do tonight, so hopefully you guys come out and are able to enjoy everything. So let me quickly get the game up and running here. So jam that up in the corner. Over here. Grab that. Pull it down. Very quickly fix a few things. Hopefully the audio is working okay. If not, I'm going to have to double or restart the stream really quick. Uh, hopefully the audio in the game is all right. Uh, like I said, we're going to have to look at it really quick. So give me one second, guys. I mean, I'm going to go right into the game, and as long as it's working, then we're ready to go, basically. It seems to be working. So I'm just going to go right on ahead. Um, if you guys are having trouble hearing the game, please let me know in the chat, and I will do my best to fix the issue. Hopefully we shouldn't have any issues. I don't think we should. Crap, give me one second though. There we go, perfect. All right. So, for those of you guys who are here, uh, this is, you know, obviously I have family asleep upstairs, my wife and daughter, so I'm not gonna be loud and screaming like a crazy person. Um, but we should be able to have a decent uh, stream here. Hopefully my audio levels are okay. Once again, if you guys have any problems with my audio in the chat, please let me know. Um, but last time you left us, our characters were at, like, level 15, and I ended up grinding out about 75k in gold, and about 11 levels here, uh, a bunch of experience, a bunch of material levels and stuff like that, uh, because I want to be able to take out the uh, Midgar Zolum here. <sighs> so what we're going to do is we're actually going to flip around a bunch of different uh, materia, builds here. Um, this, the majority of this was just for setting up. Uh, so one of the things we're going to do is uh, we're going to equip that enemy skill materia because the Midgar Zolum has a, an enemy skill that we want to grab the first thing here. Uh, we're going to actually add the elemental materia to Kligz's armor here and we're going to equip that with fire. Now what that's going to do, actually let me arrange all this crap. What that's going to do is it's actually going to add the uh, fire stat to his armor. Um, and that, that enemy skill I told you about is basically fire 3, but super early in the game. So the reason we do that um, is because we don't, we don't want to get killed by that fire 3 spell. I'm going to put cover on, um, and I'll probably equip uh, his lightning here. Alright, for honkers, what I want to do, I want her to have a restore all. That's actually pretty important for this fight. Um, and then you're going to have poison all equipped. I'm not going to equip steel on her for now. About heal at the moment. We're gonna run over there. Um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? We're gonna run over there, um, top off our characters, save up the game, and go. Save up the game? Fuck me. Uh, with 
her ice on you. Alright, now here... You're gonna get a fire all spell, even though it doesn't really matter for you. Lightning, earth, ice... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Lightning, earth, ice... Chocomog, and... Heal, why not? You don't get that much in the way of... Words I can't think of. You don't get that much in the way of AP for beating the Midgar Zolom because he's basically just a, a, a late-game regular enemy, which is enough to be a boss this early on. Um, so... I mean, they, they don't exactly shower you in experience and everything for beating him. Um, no reason to do that. Get them at the bio here. I'm not really worried about having my magic topped off here. Uh, the big important thing, and hopefully it works, is um, I have Kligs' Limit Break, uh, which has a, a pretty high chance of causing stop. So the idea is to get in, stop the boss immediately, um, dump a bunch of damage onto him and make sure our characters are topped off, um, then take the beta hit, and then hopefully be able to heal up and kill him. Um, it should go okay. So what we're going to do is now that we're right here, we're going to very quickly top off our characters, save the game, um, because it is, it is very likely that this guy's going to wipe the floor with me, uh, despite all my well-laid plans. So let's go. Where are you at, you son bitch? Come on, bitch. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I've actually been able to run across this at certain points. Alright, quick slot him with that fire with that cross slash. And you should be able to poison him. So we should be able to stop him and poison him. Um, and then from there... Oh, wow, that didn't stop him. Son of a bitch. So there's issue number one. Issue number two is he hits like a fucking truck. So what we're going to do for heals is we're actually going to use high potions instead of actually uh, using our, our cure. Uh, because we want to save the all spells attached to that for when he actually hits us with his uh, special attacks. Uh, we don't have to hit him with bio anymore. So we're going to do our best to stay topped off. Um, I should have equipped a sense spell to see what his health was at. He has, uh, I think, 8,000 hit points. Oh no. And we just straight up lost a character. Which is another shitty thing that can happen in this fight. Uh, he does that randomly, so hopefully he doesn't do that to the character that we have. There's Beta. Okay, this is where the fight is. Uh, this is where the fight begins. Uh, we don't have our restore stuff. So hopefully we'll... Hopefully we'll be able to get out of this. Uh, we might not, though. Yeah, we're not gonna... Yeah, we're dead. We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. <gasps> Look at that! We're actually able to heal ourselves. Oh, we might make it out of this yet, you guys. I'm super excited. If I can just heal myself and let that poison do the work... <laughs> that could potentially... We could also potentially run. Um, I may actually try to do that here. Really? He just knocked me out of the fight. Oh, this could be bad. We got Beta. Okay, we can use Beta to kill him now. <laughs> it worked first shot. Fuck you, that's awesome. And we've got a ridiculous amount of high potions from, uh, from actually... Um, just grinding in the area. We also grabbed the second um, enemy skill off screen, which was the uh, level 4 suicide off of the little 
rat animals, the little like squirrel things that run around here. Um, where are you at? Come on, come on, bitch. Um, we'll give this thing three shots. If we can't get it in three, um, we'll grab a chocobo and uh, continue on without. Right, there's level four suicide. There's magic magic. It didn't give me fucking beta, son of a bitch. Damn. Okay, that's actually incredibly annoying. Because it kicked us out of the fight, we didn't get beta. So we actually have to kill him in order to get beta. Damn, I got excited for nothing. Sorry, guys. I'm like salt now. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hit you with that, and then from there, our next step is gonna actually be to heal Cliggs. Um, because even with that fire elemental attached to his weapon, um, he is not gonna be able to take a hit from the damn uh, beta at this point. Uh, it, why did that hit him instead of me? Whoops. Okay, at least we have a little time here from uh, this attack. Uh, as long as we can get Cliggs up and get hit with Beta, he hasn't kicked any of us out yet, so... Not sure Magic is actually a pretty decent spell for this point. Um, oh, he keeps using cover, that's why we're having issues. I don't I push him on Cliggs. Hopefully we don't kill him without getting Beta. Up oh, and now he's kicking out. Son of a bitch! He kicked out my damn uh, uh, enemy skill holder. Shit! <laughs> and then he uses it and kills everybody. Watch this. Is this gonna be game over for us? I think it is, because that thing causes like 1,200 damage. Damn! We're fucking dead. That's the wrong thing. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll... Oh. I'm trying to reset the game, damn it. Uh, looks like I might not be able to do that from here. Fuck it. Okay, third time's a charm, right, guys? Fuck it. Use it all. I don't care. We'll do it live. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, we'll be able to get this. I'm confident because I've done this before. Shit, I should have gotten the, uh... I should have gotten the bio on him. That's, that's one of the big steps, or one of the big, um, big parts of this fight, is just getting him at a point where he'll basically kill himself with bio. Um, so we're gonna have to focus on that next... Another good thing is stopping him, which I've been able to do before. Um, but it looks like we're not going to get that chance uh, today. Alright, so here we go with another Chocomog. Chocomog has a, a chance of causing stop. Um, if we can stop him, uh, we can basically set ourselves up to be ready to go. Alright, so we're going to have the poison on him now. with another Chocomog. It looks like he's just taking a bite out of somebody. I think I got clicks, actually. All we have to do is hold on. All we have to do is hold on through that 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 damn thing, and as long as he doesn't kick out all of the, the characters who are alive, we'll be good. <laughs> and it looks like he's kicking out Cucks a lot, unfortunately. High potion on myself. We can do it with these two. Um, especially if he hits us with beta with our next turn. Uh, yes, good. Okay. First thing Cliggs is going to do is going to be to resurrect her, and then she'll use a cure two. Um, as long as she doesn't get her shit pushed in. This is going to be cutting it really close, you guys. The good news is he can only kill one of us uh, here with his next hit. Yes! Yes! This is the way! <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. 
So as long as he doesn't kick us the fuck out, we're good. Look at this. Come on, we can do it. Fuck. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Ah! Ah! I'm so fucking hard right now. Yeah! Cool. Alright. Next, we need to run the fuck out of the marshes. Um, because he does repop. Does he repop now? Because he comes back later so that you can get that. He's the only person. Yep, there he is. He's the only enemy in the game that has that skill, as far as I know. Um, so fuck yeah. It only took us, what, about 20 minutes to get that? That, uh, that went fantastically. Alright. So now that we've done that, let's, uh, let's check it. Let's see. Level 4 Suicide, Match Your Magic, and Beta. So that's basically... Beta is really good. It's basically access to Fire 3 early in the game, uh, which trivializes a lot of things in this game. Uh, we done great. All right, so we got to buy some greens here now, and then we're just we're just going to blitz the story because I've done enough leveling here that I'm not going to need to focus on that probably for another uh, six to eight hours through the story. So I hope you guys are... Ready to come along for the ride for that. Uh, let's buy some mid-level stuff. I don't really need too much in the way of greens. Um, this isn't going to take too long. So, uh, now that we've gotten the challenge part out of the way, how's everybody doing tonight? I don't really need to do much focusing anymore. Feels good, man. Okay, I do have the fucking... <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking I didn't have the Chocobo Lure. Oh, you know what? Oh, shit. Hateke9795, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. All right, let's reset up everybody with their dumb stuff. All right, oop. Damn it. <laughs> I am a fucking... I am a fucking mess when it comes to actually navigating these menus, so I'll apologize to you all in advance. Um... If I ever have to navigate menus, um, I'm really going to show my ass. <laughs> okay, so let's get cover back on there. I had steel on him before, but I don't really need steel on him. Um, I think I'll put heal on you just just for just for the hell of it. Um, and then you have an ice skill, just in case. All right, you're going to have restore without an all attached. Uh, and all, because that actually comes in useful in the next couple hours here. Um, and then we'll equip you with an ice and a fire. Actually, let's equip you with lightning and fire. Alright, this guy's going to get a fire all. Um, and from there, Chocomog. Uh, Cucks a lot here is pretty much our... our our magic dump at this point. All right, we have an extra all spell that we're just going to slot just for the AP. Um, very soon we'll get the opportunity to equip two um, all slots on him or whichever character we decide to choose, so uh, that should work out for us. And then steel, why not? Uh, the, the next ability in steel that you don't get until late game unless you grind out a shit ton of AP is mug which does damage while you steal, uh, which is vastly superior, because then that basically replaces your uh, expel. Or your fucking spell. What the fuck am I talking about? It replaces your attack. And just because I'm an idiot and I haven't thought about it yet, let's throw Chocobo Lure on here. I'm really happy we were able to knock that out um, early in the game. Uh, or early in the stream. Because, uh, one, that was fucking awesome, and two, that just gives us the opportunity to just blast through an absolute fuck ton of, uh, story here. Yeah, we got the chocobo music. Okay, so, the chocobo fights are tough, uh, because if you hurt the chocobo, <laughs> the chocobo runs away. Where's the damn greens? Where's the- there's the greens. Alright, so we want to give greens to the chocobo, and then from there, um, that distracts the chocobo. First you want to give greens to the chocobo, then you want to distract the chocobo. And then, um, basically as long as the chocobo gets through the fight, 
Uh, as long as the Chocobo gets through the fight, uh, you get the Chocobo. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna take a quick second here. My mod just jumped on, and he doesn't know I'm streaming, so I gotta scream at him really quick. Uh... Sorry, give me one second here. No, bring up the fucking chat. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's right goddamn there. Okay, there we go. Alright. Sorry for that little interruption there, guys. And here we go. Alright, so now we have a chocobo. You move much faster with the chocobo, and you avoid random battles. Um, and basically, it allows you to very quickly get across there. Um, and that's all we need it for. So we're going to switch that out. What did I have on there before? Ice? No, I had elemental equipped. Uh, we're going to switch that out for enemy skill here, because there's an enemy in here that uses uh, flamethrower. Um... And that's a, a pretty decent uh, fire spell that we want to use there. So, this is supposed to be a big deal. Uh, you're not supposed to have beaten that son of a bitch by the time you get here. Uh, by the way, uh, for those of you hanging out uh, who weren't here before, um, we're calling Sephiroth Edgelord for this stream. So, did Edgelord do this? <laughs> this is supposed to be a big, crazy, intimidating thing. Um... Like I said, we just beat his ass, though, so it doesn't really matter. Also, where are those mountains? Amazing. It's a power that we should risk, but we just did that. We just fucking did that. We just wiped the floor with, with the fucking Midgar Zolom, which was awesome. Okay. So there's a little dumb, like, Sephiroth is a badass, and now we come here. Um, there's some more good material we grab in here as well, uh, so we'll be spending stuff good amount of time in here. Uh, one of the material we grab, I think, is right up here, which is the long-range materia. Um, I mentioned earlier that long, or that, uh, uh, some long-range, or long-range weapons are able to hit, like, flying enemies and stuff. Um, if you have a melee weapon, damn it, he hit the wrong person with it. If you have a melee weapon, um, you're not able to use, or you're not able to hit flying enemies or long-range enemies. Hit flying enemies. I can't remember exactly how it works. Um, but that spell allows you to hit enemies that can only be hit with long range attacks. With um, words I can't think of. Wow, you really just want to light everybody but my enemy skill holder on fire, don't you, you asshole? Um, it allows you to basically put a melee character in the back row. Stop hitting with other people. Son of a bitch. Come on, give me honkers. Alright. Cure him. See, can I steal from you while we're waiting for you to hit me with a flamethrower attack? Magic. I to do here. Okay, there. Good, he hit me with flamethrower. Alright, that's, that's the big thing we needed to do here. Um, I'm going to try and get as many enemy skills in the areas that they exist in as possible so that we don't have to go back and run through. Um, shouldn't be too big of a deal, though. So already we're getting more AP than we were able to get out in the world. Uh, I, should be using, I shouldn't be using the high potions now, but we'll get the opportunity to buy them soon. And as you can see, I, gr I ground out like so much money um, that it's not going to become an issue here. We got another ether. That's good. We got a tent. Yay, tent. I got a tent for you. Ha 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 ha. Get it. And another fight. Here we go. Um, I really like this uh, this zone here. Basic attacks here to get through this. I'm not really worried about wasting MP because we've got a little ways to go before we're able to continue on. And yes, we'll be able to use a tent 
once we get out of this uh, mine. But it's just this cool little, like, transitional zone. They drop a little story in there to kind of give you a little something to watch, I guess. Um, but you never really come through here again. Um, unless you choose to. Uh, which you don't really need to do at all if, uh... Let's see, does Bio heal you fucks? It does not. And it actually manages to poison you guys. Alright. Um... So another thing that we ended up doing, or that I ended up doing while grinding out the levels to beat Midgar, Zolom, um, is I ground out a bunch of, uh, a bunch of limit break levels. So if you check out the limit breaks on these characters, I actually should set him back to level 2, because he was never actually able to, uh, stop Midgar Zolom with that cross slash, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, she's already at level 3, and, uh, so is he, but obviously his level 3 right now is just a Berserk spell. Uh, which we don't care about, um, so we're not going to... Let's see, okay. There's nothing else to grab down here, that's right. Um, so we're not going to worry about that at this point. Um, at this point, we're not going to see much of Conqueror's uh, level 3. Oh, I'll use uh, Beta here soon. Um, show that off to you guys. Um, but it takes a lot more damage to uh, hit a level 3 limit break uh, than it does like a level 2. Or especially a level 1. Level 1, at this stage, you get it in like 4 or 5 enemy hits, as long as they do more than like 50 damage, which most of them do at this point. Natural Magic still a good, powerful, uh, like, mid-game spell. Because it, it, it hits with the same damage as like a... Like a like a Fire, Ice, or Lightning 2. Um, let's see, there should be something up here to grab. Nope, I'm just an idiot. Um, it hits with the same damage as like a Fire, Ice, or Lightning 2, but it does physical damage. Uh, it does non-elemental magic damage. So not physical, excuse me. Just a second. What do you want? We'll fuck you up. We're overleveled. <laughs> I hoped I'd never see you again. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I guess I'll be civil. Then this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. <laughs> Sir! Hey, it's a new chick. It's alright, Rude. I know you don't like species speeches, so don't force it. Then Elena explain. I'm the newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short of people. Although because of that, I got promoted. She's actually the best one. Uh, in any case, our job is to find out where Edgelord is headed, and to try to stop you every step of the way. Or is it the other way around? You're the ones that are getting in our way. Fuck it, I don't know. Elena, you talk too much. It's that guy, Mr. Sang. No need to tell them about our orders. Sorry, Sang. I thought I gave you other orders. Now go, don't forget to file your report. All right. Very well, Rude and I will go after Edgelord, who's heading for June and Harbor. <laughs> Just told us what where we're supposed to go. I mean, we, we don't, that's where we're gonna end up anyways, but Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh shit, I fucked up, I'm sorry. <laughs> go, don't let the Edgelord get away. Yes, sir. Reno said he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show you his show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Which does fucking nothing. Well then. Deuces. Where's Martyr? She's not with you? She's with the others. Oh, then give her my regards. <sighs> so there's your little your little story drop, your little here's where you need to go next kind of thing. Alright, we're almost completely through uh, this place here. Uh, in fact, I think that is it. Yeah, so we're, we're done with the Mithra Mines. We never need to come here again. We got the enemy skill. Uh, we grabbed all the items that are here. We're done. Just a quick 
Fighter 2. So here's where I'll, where I'll actually show off Vita, the uh, badass enemy skill we got for beating Midgar Zola. It is fucking powerful, you guys. It's great, actually. Once we get through all these enemy animations here, take a second to take a drink while this is going on. Sorry about that brushing up against the mic. Look at the fucking damage that thing does. Nothing stands a chance unless it absorbs fire. It's badass. We've actually got a really cool sequence coming up. I hope you guys stick around for it. Uh, the Condor area. Um, I'm assuming everybody who's watching the stream right now has played the game before. Um, it was one of the first like tower defense games I played. And it's really, really cool. It's completely optional to do right now, but you get some cool items from here um, uh, that that I want to buy. Um, so we're coming here. Anyways, we've been fighting Shinner for a long time at this battlefield. Even now, we're still settled in for a long war with them. If you aren't in a hurry, would you help us fight them? We don't want to push you, but if you're in the middle of something, why don't you finish that first? No, we'll help you. Then go up and they'll run you in on the details. This place is really cool. I really like it. There's a really cool sequence that happens here at the end of the game. Well, not the end of the game, but like... Uh, shit, maybe maybe 60 to 65% of the way through the game. Maybe 70% of the way through the game. Alright, so first we need to come over here and talk to this guy. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm, now this is th uh, something. I never thought anyone would climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against the Shinra. You better get down before you get involved. More like, nah, fuck them. The Shinra. It appears you have a problem with Shinra, too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? I guess so. He's such a, like, cold-shoulder asshole. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? The reactor and the condor. I can see you're very perceptive. Yes, it's a reactor and a condor. Is that a backhanded compliment? Ass. It seems the Shinra doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. What's wrong with that? It's not very logical. It seems there's some type of special materia in the reactor above us. And because the condors came, Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off this mountain. The condors are now warming their eggs, which hatch only once every few years. We would like to protect the condors from being harmed. New lives. Condor's eggs are a real work of nature. Yeah, we've got to protect the life of the planet. So to protect the eggs, are you going to protect the reactor? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves, so that's why we have hired soldiers help us. As our sponsor, can you help us with a contribution or by fighting alongside of us? What do you think? Do you want to join us in our fight? Fuck yeah. You decide what we're going to do. Let's do it. This part's really cool. I got it. Lend me a hand, too. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to give these guys the money to hire mercenaries, and then we can hire mercenaries for the for the, the, the tower defense little sequences coming up. I've told the store owners about you. They should sell you various items, and feel free to use our pets. I shall. Um, ask my son, who's standing guard at the shed, about anything related to our military tactics. Ask my son. Okay, cool run through his dialogue. We're going to buy some stuff, and then we're going to go lay down and save. Hello, do your best. We will too. Do your best. Ganbate. Alright, no materia. I think you can get manipulate materia here. It's one of the reasons I come here now. Um, we don't need to buy anything. Okay, cool. So the shops are worthless. Uh, it's really about uh, completing this um, this little mini game section that's coming up. All right, so we're gonna come over here, take a rest. These beds actually look pretty comfy. We'll get some rest. Save in, and then we will go on and do our thing. I have exactly 60,001 cash on me. Um, another reason I grind 
in the, the, the Midgar wilderness area before coming here is because you need a fair amount of money um, to do this minigame um, really well, uh, which could be kind of annoying. Um, but uh, it's okay. It's actually worth it because it carries over to later in the game. So we want to talk to this guy. Look at that. That looks so fucking cool, actually. Crazy looking anime condor. Don't you know? All right, no, we want to talk to this guy, not go out, run up and look at the thing. There we go. Thanks for accepting. Let me explain our strategy. Whew, excuse me. The enemy will climb the mountain looking for the reactor. We will leave a trap for them and hire soldiers to protect the area. Well, that's all, but the, this village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, our hands are tied because we're broke. If we hired one soldier, we would need 400 gil. So if we hire 20, or 20 soldiers, that we must have 8,000 gil. So if you folks at the time, we would like you to use your own money to hire these soldiers. Buy the trap, set it up, and command the troops. If you press for time, we'd like you to help us with money. If you can give us the money, we can then hire soldiers with the funds and block Shinra's attack. Um, so you're incentivized to spend a lot of money here, um, because if the uh, tower defense doesn't work, they come up here and you end up actually having to fight them, and I think you get a penalty uh, because of that. We know that what we're asking is selfish. We have sent our wives and children to another village. We are resigned to our fate. Let's get back to square one. If the enemy penetrates our shed, you'll have to fight them immediately. Well, just because you lost once, it's not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. Now then, is there anything you wish to ask? Conditions for victory, the enemy's soldiers, which can be hired about funding, other issues. We have 1,500 gil, or 15,000. We need 3,000 for each battle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in 10K. Um, it should be way more than enough money. Um, and it should carry over to later. Alright, so we gave him 10k. And that's enough. Hey, this one climbing up here looks like they'd be just right. Please, any help is appreciated. I think what he was trying to say is, oh shit, they're coming to kill us. Alright. Okay, ready. So, you can... You have 10 enemies, they are Peter B. Many beasts, so you want to deploy more attackers. Um... This is a really interesting minigame. Um, okay, that's the line we have to place our troops above. This is a really interesting minigame. You only ever get to see this like two times in the game. Um, so you can, you can purchase attackers, uh, defenders, different types of units which do... Um, different stuff, basically. That's what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. Use that there. That should protect everything over there, except we now have this one lane here, which is fine. We can pretty much do this. Uh, this is a really cool little minigame that you don't see anywhere else in the game. One attacker on each thing. It, this is probably way overkill, uh, to be perfectly honest. And now we're ready to start the game. Alright, we're gonna turn the speed up to high. Uh, because, oh boy, this takes a while if you don't do it on high. I may have to turn it down to place a few more units or something later, um, but I'm honestly not worried about what's going on here. Um, definitely not worried about losing with the amount of money I pumped into this here. On top of the money they had. So yeah, that was a very slow, very rudimentary... Rudimentary... Yeah, I said that word, right? Uh, tower defense game. Um, but I love it, because, like, especially at the time, I'd never seen anything like it. Alright, so we do have some flyers. The flyers can only be hit by... Um, archers, so we're actually gonna place a or shooter, excuse me, we're gonna place the shooter here, and we're gonna have him run up on that guy um, the moment it comes through and then hopefully he'll have enough health left to run over and hit them um, 
if you look at the stats and everything for everybody, how do I have 44,000 gil? Did I make more that? Oh, because of what I have on my person still. Okay. Anyways, if you look at this, uh, each thing has stats and each thing has like strong against and weak against. The fighters are stronger weak against anything, but uh, attackers move fast. Defenders are really good later on. Uh, the second time you come through this especially. Uh, shooter can shoot from far, beats whoever and loses the beast. There's a repairer, repairs an ally, and then a worker which sets bombs up. There's some really cool strats built around using workers. Um, I'm no good with them, though. Alright, so let's have you run out here and attack this guy. Encountered an enemy. So it gives you the opportunity to... Um, like, it gives you a notification whenever there's, like, some sort of battle or something. Alright, so they took out... Run you down. Let's run everybody down. Alright. We want you to move up here to shore up defenses. Got the shooter. Have you run over here specifically to attack that guy? You're gonna get intercepted by the beast, though. Alright. So that attacker's got them held up. Put that back there. He arrived at the directed position. He's killing everybody, basically. Alright, we're gonna have you run over here and attack. I like to use stationary defenses. You get better ones the second time you go through this. Uh, it's pretty cool. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I actually don't need to go every time we get some sort of a notification. Destroyed. Oh, he's still shooting at it. I like that it pauses um, the game every time. Uh, every time we select something. Which, I mean, it slows down the flow of combat, which isn't that big a deal, honestly. Um, yeah. We're gonna ruin these guys. Uh, once all of them are dead. There's a boss down here. Um, I think he's going to slowly work his way up, but it almost looks like his ass is stuck. Which is kind of annoying, so I'm, I might run some guys down there just to see if I can't bait him out. Uh, the defenders are really good against the boss just because they have so much uh, so much health. Um, so I might trade them in. I, I'm pretty sure I need to kill that guy to finish this. Uh, but he will be the last enemy. Uh, the commander there. As soon as that guy's down. Alright. Time for you to run your ass down here with your friends. So if you notice, the line of the line of attack changes based on where our guys advance. So you can you can bottle them up into those two entrances there, um, and it goes really well. That guy hits for a ton of damage. You see that? But since we have uh, moved our line of attack all the way down here, <laughs> we can plant stationary defenses. Uh, he'll probably burn through all of them, to be perfectly honest. Uh, he'll probably kill both of them. Teams. Yep, so those two are dead. That shooter's gonna die, too. Um, so it might take, like, one defender. The defenders have... Attack is 25, attack is 35. The defenders have a higher attack, too. Um, but they're only good against certain enemies. The defenders are probably the best unit. They're slow as hell, though. Oh, we didn't even need him. I think they'll give us a little bit of a refund. Um. Ooh, that was good, but Shinra's troops will be back. Be sure and scout the area well. We don't know when they'll attack again. We have nine allies left, so here's 1,800 gil. Whew. Oh yeah, I found this just now on the battlefield. Maybe it'll come in handy for you guys. 
magic comb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is actually exactly what I wanted. Actually, it's not exactly what I wanted, um, but it's a really good weapon for him that um, allows him to do double damage, or not double damage, fuck me. I sound like an idiot. Um, it doubles the growth rate on his materia. So if I get 15 AP from a fight, everything equipped in those are going to get 30. It also does more damage, too. So it's kind of a, a halfway decent trade-off with the, uh, the fact that I don't have that all linked to the fire anymore. And I don't have any alls linked with him anymore. Um, but since he'll do more physical damage, um, it's not going to be that big a deal. My son. Oh, well, we did that already. Alright, so this area is done for now. Uh, now we're going to go on to the next area. Actually, we've got one more thing we can do before we go to the, the uh, city of the... Yeah, this is a city. The city of Junon. Or Junon. It's up to you. Whatever you guys want to call it. So that was a fun little, fun little distraction there. And we've got another one coming up. Oh, look at those forests. We should go check out what's in those forests over there, don't you know? I'm pretty sure there's a few enemy skills I can get in this area, too. I don't remember what they are. However, I grabbed myself like a little... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I grabbed myself a little guide. Um, so I may check that out. Um, I don't think the one that I can... Or the one that exists here I can get without the manipulate spell. Um, or confusing the enemy, so we might not be able to get it now, just period. Um, but I'm still going to double-check it before we leave the area. Woohoo! We just got fucked up! Alright, cool. There's another quick fight now. Uh, but we're going to want to stay in the forests here, um, until something very special happens. Very special. Pretty sure it can happen here. If we don't get what I'm looking for within like four or five battles, I'll try it again later. But I'm pretty sure we can do it here. Oh, speak of the devil. So that's a person. Who's hitting us with attacks. How dare you. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. Get fucked, boy. Uh-oh. It's interesting that she that uh, this character has all of these attacks here. Um, because this is the only time she ever uses those attacks. Um, these are like straight up uh, highly damaging enemy skills. Um, that you can't, s that you don't see anywhere else outside of like certain bosses and certain other enemies, but she never gets it. All right, so this is Yuffie. Man, I can't believe I lost. You have to do something very specific here, and I don't remember what it is. You spiky-headed jerk! One more time. Let's go one more time. Not interested. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think this is her way of flipping us the bird. Stay and fight! Fight, I said! Come on, what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. <laughs> Just as I thought. What do you expect with my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. If you feel up to it, we can go another round. Later. I'm really gonna leave, really. Wait a second. What is it? You still have something for me? Hmm, so that's it. I know you want my help because I'm so good. You want me to go with you? That's right. Thought so. You put me in a spot. Hmm, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse. All right. Fuck it, I don't care about you. Let's keep going. <laughs> it's just fuck you, little chicka. I haven't even told you my name. Uh... 
Yeah, I think I can fit it. This one's gonna be another weird one. Mm, excuse me. Shit, I won't fit. Damn it. Okay, fine. Hentai Chan. <gasps> That's even better. Oh, I can't fit Hentai Chan. Damn it. Okay, Hentai it is. Do you guys like Hentai? <laughs> I'm Hentai. <laughs> Fuck you, that's funny. Good to meet you. Hehehe, <laughs> just as planned. All I have to do is a little of this and a little of that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Little asshole. So that's Hentai. Hentai is um, actually a pretty good character, and she is necessary for getting some of the... Um, both of the buttons do the same thing they do. Uh, she's necessary for getting some uh, very specific materia later in the game that becomes really important. Um, especially if we're going to go for the master materia, which I'm not sure if we are or not at this point. Um, at least not on stream. I don't know if I'm going to grind out all the AP. I'll explain what the master materia is another time, but it's like a super late game thing. Um that is useful for a lot of stuff, um, but is not really necessary. What happened to this town? It's so run down. Wow, now this is rare. We almost never have anyone other than the Shinra people visit this town. Uh, give me a second here, guys. I'm going to double check something. I swear I'm almost done. I swear to God, you guys. Oh my God. Hashtag, I don't know. Cool, okay, we did it. All right, we back. Thanks for bearing with me there. Ugh. Uh, all right. There's a couple things to check out in this uh, shitty little town. If you see a weapon you want, you better buy it. All right, what you got? Mithril armlet, potion, phoenix down, grenade tent. Nothing useful. Um, we've got a shop. We've got a couple people to talk to. Um, then there's that big fucking elevator guarded over there. Hey, people, where did you come from? Did you see a man with a black cape? Hmm, I've never seen that fellow before. So now we're just straight up asking people, have you seen the Edgelord? This is Shinra's elevator. Don't be snooping around here. Okay, fine. Let's check out this house over here. I don't think there's anything for us to do right now, but ever since Shinra built that city up above during the war, there's been no fish in the water. It got so polluted. So Shinra built a town over this town, and I don't know if you guys saw from the world map, but there's a giant fucking gun mounted on the town. Hey, Mr. Dolphin! <gasps> there's a dolphin! Oh my god! My name is Priscilla. No, you say it. Who are you guys? Are you members of the Shinra? Nah, stay calm. That's how it is. It's really weird. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Whatever. Great. Oh, shit. What is this? It's a fucking monster. Oh, God. Random boss battle out of fucking nowhere. Be careful, Mr. Dolphin. Oh, shit. She's drowning. I'm gonna fuck you up for touching that little girl. So, uh... Pretty sure this uh, monster's called Jared. Or wait, maybe it was Bill. Yes, I know, I'm a horrible human being. Let's see if Bio hits it. Beta's gonna be our number one skill here because it just does so, it does like 
so much more damage than all the other skills we have or we have access to here. Uh, we might be able to take this thing out in two or three hits. It's so angry. It looks like a fucked up like like fish thing. Because if you look at like the tail, it's like missing bits of like flesh. Yeah, see, you can see its fucking bones and stuff. I think this thing is just pissed off about the pollution. I don't think it has uh, an enemy skill I have to worry about here. 90% certain. Traps me in water, what the fuck? She would choke him out. Probably Bolt. Bolt will probably move it. She Lightning also works well against um, enemies that are water-based, and since this thing came out of the water, it's probably water-based. Did that stop it? No, it did not. Alright, so here's Bolt 2. How much does this do? 441, so a little, about normal, actually. So here's another big hit. Uh, but we're just able to... Oh! That's it. We do it. Yay. There's another boss down. Definitely no fucking Midgar Zolom fight. But we get a power rest, which is going to be important for um, Kligs here. This is bad. You don't think she's dead, do you? Love how we all just kind of stand around like, huh, should we poke it with a stick? Nope, she's not breathing. Hey, that's it. Young man, CPR, now. Mouth to mouth. Cliggs, what are you gonna do? But she's just a girl. You know I can't. What, you don't know how? Come over here, I'll show you. I guess I gotta do it. <laughs> Physical contact with a member of the opposite sex? Oh my god. Just take a deep breath, hold it in, then breathe into her. Hurry up and do it. Whoops, I screwed that one up. So I don't know an optimal way to do this. Um, so I always just fill it up to the top and then go. This fucking thing takes like a minute and it's kind of a pain in the ass and not boring or not cool. You can't fail it. Um, I don't think you can fail it. Do you guys in the chat know if you can fucking fail this? That would suck if you could. <laughs> Going. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, fell on lungs, boy. Yeah. Whoops. I fucked up. Oh, no, I didn't. I did it perfect, actually. If you fill your lungs up all the way to the top without hitting the square button to release, um, you just kind of breathe out and hyperventilate. Probably one of the most boring parts of the stream. That Midgar Zolom fight was fucking fantastic. I'm really happy we were able to knock that out. It's always iffy. Always iffy for me. Just cause just cause it's so tough. Cause it's complete RNG at that point. If he knocks the character you need out of the fight, you can't do it. If he knocks everybody else out of the fight, even if you get the thing, if you can't beat him, then there's no fucking point. Um, it's actually a fairly difficult fight uh, just based on that RNG. Like, you can't outlevel the fact that he can just knock characters out of your party there. Come on. Oh, so over this. I bet you guys are too. Oh well. Yay, we saved a little girl. Hey, Priscilla, are you all right? I'm taking this child. You can't have her, it's mine. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of cool. We done saved the kid. Now they got her resting up here. Sorry, Cliggs, Priscilla needs to rest for a while. So what we're supposed to do here is actually come over here and take a legit rest. Talk to this lady. Hey, come in for a while. 
I actually visit this house a lot throughout the game. I heard what happened. You've done so much for Priscilla. You all must be tired. If you want some rest, stay here. Okay. So I think you're actually required to take a rest at this point before you continue on. Make yourselves at home. Oh. Lower back pain. Take a rest. Yeah. Here, let's rest. Let's see. Everything looks alright. So I just had to check the stream quality here. Let's rest. So you get vaguely different dialogue um, at certain points uh, based on who's in the party. That reminds me, you again. Who are you? So Kliggs is talking to somebody. You'll find out soon, but more importantly, five years ago, Nibbleheim? When you went to Mount Nibble then, Honkers was your guide, right? Yeah, I was surprised. But where was Honkers other than that? I don't know. There's a great chance for you two to see each other again. You're right. <laughs> Why couldn't you see each other alone? I don't know. I can't remember clearly. Oof, sorry, guys. There we go. Why don't you try asking Honkas? Also known as Honoka. It's a joke about a dead or alive five character with giant tits. Hey, wake up, Kliggs. Honkers, when, Seth, when Edgelord and I went to Nibbleheim, where were you? We saw each other, right? The other time. No, it was five years ago, I don't remember. She's been pretty dodgy about that. But something seems strange outside. Pligs, come quick. Best track in the whole game. Dance to it. Yeah. Okay. It's enough of that bullshit. Look, everybody's here to hang out. I'm gonna go up here and talk to a little girl. Who's like, you took my mouth virginity. Um, thanks for helping. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mistook you for one of those Shinra. That's alright. I'll give you something special. It's actually incredibly special. Because it's your second summon materia, it's Shiva. Kind of a big deal. What's that music? It sure sounds lively. I heard they're rehearsing the reception for the new Shinra president. Rufus, I gotta pay my respects. Grandpa and Grandma told me this beach was beautiful when they were small. Ah, fucking cables. But after the Shimmer built that city, abo city above, the sun shot, stopped shining here and the water got polluted. I was raised on that story and hate Shinra so much I could die. I think Rufus is thinking about crossing the ocean from here too. Does that mean Edgelord already crossed the ocean? Kliggs, didn't you finish Rufus off? Kanye. <laughs> Fucking Kanye. We gotta get to, to the town up there. Maybe we could climb the tower? No, no, there's a high-voltage current running underneath the tower. Don't wander near it. It's dangerous. But you might be able, if Mr. Dolphin helps you, follow me. Everybody's looking at her like, what the fuck is she talking about? High-voltage tower. I guess this means Kliggs will be all right. Yeah, better leave it to Kliggs. Counting in you Kliggs. Hey, wait a second. Everybody just runs off see what the girls are chatting about. Don't you just hate this? You're probably right. Just gossiping. What you gotta say, Kanye? Yeah, I'd like to take a good look at the new president of Shinra, Inc. You've seen him already, idiot. I mean, I know that's not what you mean. That looks like a Shinra soldier. Aren't you going to follow her? Nah. Just hang out in town here. Don't be snooping around here. So you can totally pay that guy off later. I, I think they replace it with a different guy, to be honest. Um, so you don't have to go through this upcoming stupid-ass minigame again. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. So she's a dolphin trainer. Oh 
Oh my god, she's so spiritual. She's so in tune with nature. Ain't that something? I never, I ain't never seen no dolphin jump like that. Fucking Kanye. Pretty cool, huh? When I blow this whistle, Mr. Dolphin jumps for me. This is for you, Cleegs. Give me a whistle. What am I supposed to do with it? Just go into the water, blow this whistle, and Mr. Dolphin will jump you to the top of the pole. Jump to the top of the pole. See that rod sticking out at the top? If you jump just right, you can climb to the top of the town. Good luck, Cleegs. If you make it, we'll follow you. Whoa, I'll hold the PHS for you. It'll break if it gets wet. Wanna jump with Mr. Dolphin? I'll pass. <laughs> Gotta do it. Alright, so this is actually a tremendous pain in the ass, but the easiest way to do it is to do it once, and you miss, but then if you do it again, he should throw you right on top of the pole. Perfect. Now it's time for us to climb up to Junin and do some more fun shit. Look at me go. My anthropomorphic body. My head is bigger than my torso. And this is your first look at the only airship in the game, I think? But look at that, that's fucking cool. Probably still one of my favorite airship designs. Such a cool fucking scene. <sighs> oh yeah, we gotta equip that thing. Alright, so we have Protect Vest on, but we wanna switch it out for Power Wrist. Um, because that increases attack by 10, um, which is good for him, because I want to build him around a melee build. <laughs> that fucking sound effect just sounds like... <laughs> like bad electronics sound. Oh, the new president is here, he's here, hurry! Oh shit! Hey, you fucking son of a bitch, come here! I think we're in the military. And you absolutely have to do this. If you run away, he just screams at you. It's a big day when we welcome President Rufus. Hurry up on change. So we actually gotta come over here and change into a shimmer uniform. Brings back memories. Hurry up. Okay, Thorin. Shinry uniform. I was so proud when I first put one on. I wonder when it was. I couldn't stand wearing this thing anymore as I put it on. And somehow we have a rifle? Wow, you look good in it. You remember the greeting procedure, right? I do. Look on your face as you forgot. All right, I'll show you again. God damn it, I wish I could skip this tutorial, but it's fine. We'll help too. This is how to do it. We'll sing too. All right, show them. Now march, this is the welcoming march. And I'll sing along with you. This is basically Guitar Hero before Guitar Hero. What, Parappa the Rapper? All clear. All right, good. Make sure you do well at the real parade. I'm not going to practice. I don't care about the results. Preparation completed. Grab something out of one of these lockers. All right, showtime. Don't disgrace yourselves. All right. I know for a fact we can get a second enemy skill materia here. Uh, the big problem with enemy skill materia is each one is unique. So, each one has to get the enemy skill used on it in order for it to work. Um, which be can become a giant pain in the ass, which is why I said at some point we're going to have a stream where all we do is go around and get enemy skills. Because there's four of them in the game, so we're going to try and get as many as we can with four of them. We'll definitely get Vita for all of them me running around. Look at that giant fucking guy. What is that for? It's actually some crazy artillery, although they can't point it up, so it couldn't possibly hit anything more than a couple miles away. I mean, I think there's a setup to point it up, but it's not really that practical. It looks badass. And that whole area, all those levels are cities. Or like different city streets, I should say. No one's here. We're late. Aw, oh, shit. It's because you're running around like that. We'll take the shortcut. Right, good idea. Get over here. 
just my ass running around back and forth. Ah, damn it. I'm not allowed to go. Don't get me any madder than I already am. Yeah, we're stuck having to just do it. Okay, come on. I'm trying to go. I want to go into the shops. We get some good items here. Actually, we get some really good items here. Live TV ratings, 23%. Just sneak into the back of the line when you see an opening. So it kind of forces you out there. Look at that. It's kind of annoying. And you get yelled at. Listen up, this parade's going to be broadcast live around the world. You look bad, the whole June and army will look bad. Okay, jump in when I give you the sign. Just sneak in from the back, don't mess up their own. Whatever you do, don't try to go in the front. Right, start marching. He didn't want us to go. I probably should have gone there. So look at the TV ratings going down. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get in line. Oh my god. Oh shit. Shit. Fucked up. <laughs> I took too long. Damn it. Alright, gotta be able to do it this time. There we go. No, really? Fucking motherfucker. Son of a bitch. There we go. Finally got it. I guess we were supposed to run in front of the line of everybody. Oops. We did okay. What the hell is that soldier doing? I don't know. Are the points up? This is terrible. Am, am I fired? What? You're fired! Send that soldier a bomb or something. He gave us a grenade. You get little, uh, like rewards for doing good. Or bad. You know. Oh, President Rufus. Hey, line up and shut up. So at this point, I can totally... I'm supposed to stand still, but I can totally move around. <laughs> and I get yelled at the whole time. <laughs> How's the job? What happened to the airship? The long-range airship is still being prepared. It should be ready in about three more days. Gah ha ha. <laughs> Look at me being an asshole. Asshole. Even the Air Force's Gelnica? Stop that stupid horse laugh. Things are different than when father was in charge. You don't like that much. Yeah. Is the ship ready? Yes, sir. We'll get it ready quickly. Oh, look. He's so angry. Look at this. We all laugh at him and then he starts beating the shit out of us. No, I don't want to get beat up by the fat piece of shit. Why is it shaking? What the fuck? Weird. What a disaster. Heidegger was really irritated. The man in the black cape's been roaming the city, but we can't find him. I don't give a fuck. Man in the black cape? Got up two or three days ago and kill a few, killed a few of our soldiers. He disappeared right after that. There's a rumor going around that it was the Edge Lord. Attention dismissed. All right, so now we actually get to explore the town a little bit. Hey, hey you messing with the army? What if I am? You're too lazy, no break for you. Get over here. Shit. I think. I think this had to happen anyways. This is the military soldier. You ordered today or to send Rufus off at the dock. I'll keep you drill I'll keep drilling you until it's time drilling you. I'll help, sir. Me too, sir. Hang on. I'll help, sir. Me too, sir. Don't really open them up. Creepy sex thing. Line up, show me your final pose. Today's command is formation. Remember it. So we're just supposed to And it's kind of, it's randomized, um, and based on how well you do, you get um, certain uh, like rewards. I can't remember what all the rewards are. Uh, but I don't think it really matters. I don't think you get anything unique for it. 
You might get a Materia. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I've got it. Don't mess up during the real thing. What's today's special pose? I haven't decided yet. Alright, Rookie, I'll let you decide. Show me your best move. Alright, ready? That's awesome! I'll go with that as today's special. Practice it. That's dumb. I love it. So I love how I get to be just basically a terrific asshole. What is this? Okay, that's where we came from. There's a cool thing right there. We can take that down to the, the city below. Um, and that's how you get in and out of Junin in, in the future. Oh, excuse me. That's how you get in and out of Junin in, in the future. But for now, you're kind of... Uh, uh, forced into doing the thing. Forget about your job. Step right up. Alright, what do you got to sell, bro? Your sales are pretty bad today. Which is crazy, because there's a big giant thing going on here. Alright, uh, we're going to grab the seal and the revive material. Revive's important. It means you don't have to use Phoenix down. Alright, so that's a good fight. Oops. I'm going to keep going over this way. Cool and break the line of them. Our weapons are the best. So you do get some very good weapons here. Uh, hard Edge is good. Obviously, they're better just because they have more um, slots. So I'm going to buy everybody's weapons, even though I haven't been using everybody. Uh, this is worse. That might actually not work out for us there. Um, but I'm going to buy them simply because... Um, if I have to switch out to the characters, I'd rather they have slots for stuff than not. Hmm, you too? Then take your mask off and come here. That's our rule. Looks like something's going on outside, but we're too smashed to do anything. They're just hanging out in the bar. I'm sorry it's all rented out today. Sorry it's all rented out today. I'm pretty sure the enemy skill materia is somewhere here. Seems like you're a little too young to be- I'm 21, asshole! Alright, so I'm not 100% where the enemy skill materia is, so I'm gonna look it up really quick. So, bear with me here. Enemy skill materia locations. Sample tank in Professor Hosio's lab in the respectable inn. Okay, it's in the inn. One of the houses in the Forgotten Cat. Okay. So it's not in the bar, it's in the inn. Good to know. Let's go. Let's go grab us some materials. The respectable inn in Junin, right? Yep, okay. Because there's one inn that I, if I remember correctly, is not very respectable. This is the item shop. Oops, let's get that off the screen there. Let's see. Oops. So I'm actually gonna buy some uh, uh, healing stuff here. There we go. Just enough to cure status ailments. We're not gonna have too much of an issue with status ailments, but I would still rather be safe than sorry. What do you got going on? Hey, how could you do that? Nobody woke me up. There is some interesting shit to buy in here, or to find in here, I believe. If this is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, I do want to go in here. We've got a model of a soldier and some source stuff. Incredibly important. Uh, and we'll actually use those here on Plague's soon. Power source. Hmm, I'm not going to the parade. The road to become a soldier first class is very difficult. That can come in here and bark that by this dog for no reason. Cool, we do it. Hashtag fire festival. I don't know. Was there another? 
Did that go somewhere? No, it does not. Okay. Alright, so we, we're finished with this part of Juman. That dog, if you're not careful, will walk into one of the doors, and you have to exit the screen and come back to fucking find, uh, or to get into, I think, the, the weapon shop, actually. Along here, let's put that hard edge. We have an extra material slot. The hit point and magic point and strength. are really fucking bad, so we'll equip Shiva on you, and we'll put Revive on our dedicated healer, which at this point uh, has been honkers. That dog does the same fucking thing with the doors. The minute you think the job's boring, you guys start messing around. Hey, soldier boy, aren't you still on duty? Let's see, can I talk to Seng? I can't stay out of this. Fuck you. I'm the best. I don't know. Hey, soldier boy, aren't you still on duty? Oh, she was saying that. I don't talk to Reno. There we go. The president's safety is secure because we're here. Fucking drinking in this bar. Actually, I think that was a diner, more like. No, you fucking... No, okay. Are you sure it's all right? Nap while on duty? Yes. I don't think I needed to nap, but I'm still going to do it, and then we'll grab the materia out of there. And then we shall continue on. Good morning, you still seem a little sleepy. Looking forward to seeing you again. This is the Junin Inn. I don't know if this is the right one. I'm hoping it is. Where is this material? It said it's in the Respectable Inn. This is the Junin Inn, so I wonder if there isn't more than one, or if I just don't know where the fuck it is. If we don't find it, we'll not be able to come back to it for a while, uh, which might not be that big of an issue, to be perfectly honest, but we do want to grab it at some point. Oh, he's going to buy a lot, cutie. I won't charge you for a smile. Please go to the counter. I suddenly want to spend more money. There's a lot of stores in Junin. If we don't do this, we can't compete. What bothers me is that the girls make more than me. <laughs> right, fire, ice, lightning, earth, poison. I need nothing out of the shop. Cool. Let's go to the top level. There's something up here. If I remember correctly. Just be in soldier. Soldier. Once I left, I opened up the shop. But I'd rather be at the shop downstairs with all the cute girls. Silver glasses and headband. Why not? Won't hurt to have couple of each. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to search the corners of your shop. God damn son of a bitch. Oh, no, yeah. Alright, so, so far we haven't been able to find the respectable inn. Mm, nose itch. With the... Uh, thing. So maybe it's one of these last two. If it's not one of these last two, I ain't got no idea. Hey, aren't you still on duty? Look, I'm in no position to talk, but this is the barracks. The barracks has a speed source. Don't become a delinquent worker like me. I don't know what the purpose of those fucking things is. It's so shameful, and they told me I would be staying at one of the five-star uh, five hotel on these trips. Okay, this is the barracks still. Not a respectable inn. I'm still gonna search every corner. Nope, nothing. Alright, we got one last building. And... Where am I stuck? There we go. Okay. If this isn't it, then I don't know what it is. Nope, this is the weapons store. So it has to be back at that inn. All right. Oh, welcome. Don't have anything special. If I remember correctly, if you come back here later, you can get a slightly, or you can get some decent weapons. But for right now, he only carries the stuff you were able to get back in the uh, com. Uh, same thing here. All right, so very quickly, I'm gonna. Check that out again. Junan 
Not underwater reactor, enemy skill. All right, bringing you to an IGN page. <laughs> Silver glass is worse, worse than HP plus materia or the force stealer, which is a weapon for clicks. Okay, so that's what you get for doing the actual thing. Uh, let's see. Shopping. Where is Shopping and Visitor's Guide? Okay. Seal and Revive, Diamond Pin, Enemy Skill Materia, Beginner's Hall. Oh, it's in the Beginner's Hall. Okay. Um, which I completely blew past before. Oops. So we need to go all the way back to the beginning. I completely forgot about that. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. This will take four minutes top, so bear with me. Pretty please, you guys. Oh my god. Let's keep on keeping on. At least this, the scene transitions go pretty quickly here. Is it this one? I don't think it was this one. Yeah, this one was just a shop. This place, I think. It wasn't this place. Son of a bitch. Down here? Down here? Down here? Not down here. Shit. <laughs> I'm wasting so much time being lost. I've ruined everything. This is not it either. If I didn't have to... If I didn't have to come all the way back here, I'm gonna be a sad loser. Probably didn't have to come all the way back. Son of a bitch! Shit. In the words of Kanye. <sighs> oh well. That means it's gotta be what? The first one over here. It was that bar we went to, that second bar, where there was a soldier standing in front of a thing. This is not it either. I swear to God, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my fucking mind here, you guys. Did I glaze right fucking past it? Oh my God. Was it back there? Oh, I really should just keep going. Fuck it. No enemy skill for us. One is enough for now, I guess. But we'll be back here several times, so we'll have several other opportunities to actually get it. Okay, so the best thing we can get here is the Force Stealer weapon for Cloud, which is good. There's some pretty funny stuff that's going to come up here uh, pretty soon, too. This is it. June and military reception. Do it with enthusiasm. Ready? I'm not really ready. So like I said, it's randomized. And if we do it perfectly, we'll get a new weapon. pretty good. <laughs> Just spinning around in fucking circles. Shit, 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 shit. There we go. It gets faster to make it tough on you. Oh, oh but we're doing real good. We're doing real good. Oh my god. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. We're doing good. Yeah, we did it fucking perfect. That's awesome. This has been an awesome fucking stream. <laughs> well done. Keep up the good work for Shinra, Inc. Now he's going to bear hug all of us. No, not really. He's going to congratulate all of us. 
Yahaha, here's a special bonus for you. A token of the president's kindness. Don't forget it. Force Stila. Do you guys see, uh... Uh... Cockington, or whatever his name is in the back there? Once word gets out that Edgelord is here, Cliggs and his friends will show up too. We'll crush them as soon as we find them. We can't have them get in our way. Leave it to me, sir. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. But I told you to stop that stupid laugh. Yeah. Now he's gonna beat us up. Keep going to a modified parade rest there. That's cool. Depending on which button you press, I think it is, you do a different pose. Alright. Yeah. So you can press the other buttons and do little emotes and stuff. Cool. Because Hojo disappeared, leaving a letter of resignation. Heidegger's been forced to take care of that investigation, too. Hey, I thought they told you you were dismissed. Fuck you, bro. Pretty sure I got the force to I got some cleaning up to do. Hurry up. I did get it. It's got double, so we're gonna lose that uh, second thing. Uh, but what we can do is I always want to put the uh, I always want to put the, the summons in the uh, in the double slots because they take the most AP by far to master. Actually, they don't take the most by far, but they take a fair amount to master. Um, and so I want to get the jump on that. Even if we're wearing Shinner's uniforms, we'll cross to the new continent. I don't think you got too much to worry about. So there goes that continent. We won't come back there for a long time. I'm pretty sure we explored pretty much every area on that continent. Um, there's, uh, there's one or two more things we can do that uh, we can't do until very late game later on. Um, but yeah. What are you going to do? Alright. So here's a pretty fun little section, actually. Get to hang out on the boat. I'm working hard already and you still want me to do more? The new president is probably the same. He's just going to order us around anyways. Berg, this is why I hit ships. Hey, Cliggs, you have any tranquilizers? Here, use this. Thanks. Gross. This is bitter. Where are the others? I don't know. Are they hiding somewhere around here? So everybody's dressed up, or, yeah, dressed up and hidden on this ship. Uh, which leads to some funny results. If she wasn't there, I'd be able to grab that thing, but I'll be able to grab it later. Um, it's me, Martyr. Hey, Cliggs, did you see the airship at Junin? I heard it was big, but I didn't expect it to be that big. That's what she said. That's what Martyr said last night. Ha 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 ha. And your mom. Ha 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 ha. It's really something. That's what she said. Hey, do you think I could get on it? I'll take you someday. Keep hoping. Wow, I'm really looking forward to it. That's kind of brutal. Hey, get to work. Both the new president Rufus and Heidegger aboard the ship. If we do good, we can get promoted. I can't wait to take Martyr on that ship. Oops, come on. Y'all. Yes, sir. Everything quiet, sir. But you know what? I really hate this uniform. Uniform, soldiers, war. I hate them all. You take away all the things and people you love. You have a very uh, narrow idea of what uh, the military is for. I don't know. Cliggs, wearing those clothes seems to have changed you a little. Does it remind you of being a soldier? I hope not. I guess in this world that's the case, but, you know, whatever. What do you got to say? President Rufus and his men are on the bridge of the ship. If they see you slacking, they'll bust you one. Damn, I don't want to get busted one. What's wrong, kid? You got some no pep. The seaman's got to have umph. I'm tired. He's got the perfect thing. Invisible Alpha, a super drink for semen. Uh, it's basically an inn. Shouldn't be so stingy. Thank you, you got no pep. Something's missing. Hey, what do you mean missing? I don't know why that... Okay. It's a basic shop. We don't need any of that shit. Come up here. 
Oh man, we're almost to Costa del Sol. When I get there, I'm going to take a long overdue vacation. Maybe I'll go down to the beach and get a tan. Alright, we want to go up here. See what's going on up here. Alright. It's me. Cucks a lot. I'm a little woozy, but I shouldn't get caught. Humans only look at appearances anyways. If you look at it, I'd say I make a fine human being. This is fucking tail sticking out. That's pretty funny. Alright, so now we want to go over here. And we want to talk to her again, if I remember correctly. Oops, shit. I didn't actually climb it. There we go. I was just slowly walking off into the distance. Uh, okay, maybe not her. I think I might have to talk to Martyr down below deck. So let's go do that really quick. Whew. Hey, Cliggs, did you see Kanye? I hope he's not doing anything stupid. Wow. So nobody has a good opinion of that asshole. Not even in 1997 in the game before he dropped any stupid albums. Look at this idiot. Look at what he's doing. Look, Cliggs, it's Rufus and Heidegger. They're this close, but we can't do a thing to them. Um, grrr. How can he go off laughing like that because of him? Big sweats, Jesse. I'm so angry about things, I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna settle things here and now. Reports of a suspicious character found. That was not on detail. Search the ship. Report one found. Repeat. Suspicious character found on board. Damn, did they find us? It doesn't seem like us. Do they mean honkers and the others? Get off your spiky butt and let's go. Apparently my butt is spiky. Apparently he tried the penetration. He couldn't, he couldn't manage it. Everyone all right? Huh? Everyone's here, right? Hey, wait. You don't think that suspicious character is? Edgelord? Really? How the hell am I supposed to know? Let's find out. It's the most logical thing to do, then who's going to go? Not me. I don't even like edge lords, anyways, and besides, bleh. <laughs> but you can still totally pick her ass. Alright, so we're gonna bring the characters we leveled up. She luckily is at the same level as up uh, as us. Kanye and Martyr got some levels. Because they get a, they they kind of keep the characters somewhat close to you, but it's not the same as, you know, actually leveling your characters. Alright, now I think I have to re-equip materia here. Edgelord. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's check it out. No, we're good, but I do have new things to equip on y'alls. Grand Glove, and... So I can get another Materia slot, but I lose a fair amount of damage. But you're my magic user, so I'm not too worried. Actually, you lose out on the double, too, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, um... We're gonna equip you with Long Range. And put him in the back row. Um, you are gonna get that Revive spell. You're gonna stay in the front row. Probably because I'm an idiot, but whatever. No big deal. Whew. Alright, let's keep on keeping on. Look at this person hiding over here. Oh, wait, it's Hentai. That's right. <laughs> Hi, Hentai. Alright. Let's go below deck and grab that materia, shall we? Oh, wow, everybody's fucking dead. A suspicious character in the engine room. It's not a human being. Oh no, a fight. So the weird thing about Sephiroth is that every fucking time Sephiroth comes out, look at that fucking four stealer sword, that thing looks badass. Every time Sephiroth comes out, so do fucking, uh, words I can't think of. God damn, why can't I think of the words? So do a ton of, uh, enemies. Usually it's like these weird bio freaks. Like Sappho. Hey guys, I'm Sappho. Uh, but no, seriously, every time Sephiroth comes out, it becomes a fighting knight. Another all material. Fantastic. You get to the point where you can start equipping different sets of stuff on different people and not having to worry about changing their stuff in or out. We're gonna use enemy skill here. 
These guys are using Ice 2 already. See, if I hadn't ground that shit out, I wouldn't get, like, uh, level 2 spells until way later. Oh, hey, we got a limit break to carry into the next fight here. Sure enough, it was very nice. Look how the AP is off of those guys. It's form 32, that's not terrible. But I'll get to the point where I'll be able to get, like, 45 uh, a fight coming up here soon. That's one of the best... Um, bets to actually use it. Okay. Oh, listen to that. Dunk, dunk. Uh oh. Another fight. Oh no. Actually, got a ton of MP at this point. Right. Oh, we got slept anyways. Oh shit. They're putting all of us to sleep. Fucking crit one shot, I love it. Alright, we're gonna get rid of you real quick and some fire. We're gonna fucking melt you to the floor, bro. How dare you? How dare you come at us like this? It's unacceptable. Grab right, the eye drops and let's continue on. If you don't grab this box now, you'll never grab it. Uh, that's a weapon for hentai, but uh kind of no point. I'm probably only going to use her a little later in the game. Fucking okay, fire 2 it is. Can't wait to get the counter materia for clicks there. It's probably overkill using a fire 2. A fire 1 probably would have done it, to be perfectly honest. Alright, we need to hurry fast. The random battle rate here is quite high. Hey, you. Is it Edgelord? <gasps> oh no, he's dead. Who would have thought that? Not Edgelord. After a long sleep, the time, the time has come. Kliggs, look. The time has come and so have I. I'll laugh last, because you came to die. Edgelord, you're alive. Who are you? You don't remember me? I'm Kliggs. Kliggs. Edgelord, what are you thinking? What are you doing? The time is now. Oh shit. Fuck this up. And now we get one of the better. Um... Actually, yeah, straight up one of the better. Uh oh. I don't have any way to heal that shit. Uh, this is one of the better um, battle themes in this game. I, think. I actually really like this. And there is a, uh, I think there's a remix of it later on that's uh, really good as well. Alright, so who has Shiva? I think, I think Clegs has Shiva. So this is going to be kind of tough with him stuck on stop and no way to actually uh, heal that. Because uh, it effectively, permanently takes him out of the fight. So we're just gonna keep pelting this uh, boss with uh, summons and high-level magic. This is Genova, by the way. This is the thing that was pulled out of the fucking uh, Shinra building. A junk! It looks kind of fucking crazy. It looks way more like a monster than anything you've had to deal with before. Uh, up to this point in the game. I don't think it has any elemental weaknesses or anything like that. I should be saying she, because it is technically a she, but... Oh, hey, look, he came up. He's starting to use his crazy spells here. That actually should kill her. No, I guess not. Interesting. I'm gonna keep hitting your ass with the beta then. Ah, I got you with Quake. You didn't get to see it because it was underneath you. Quake's a cool spell. Uh, Quake does more damage than the regular um, magic stuff, the fire, bolt, and lightning. Um, it takes more uh, MP to use, obviously. To go along with that, but it's this weird, like, intermediate spell that 
only works on certain enemies and stuff like that. Alright, so there's a good boss fight. That's what disappeared from the Shinra building. Geneva, the arm of Geneva. He's been carrying this thing around? And it's gone. So it was Edgelord. The time is now. What does that mean? Time is now. I'm getting so confused. Pligs, explain what's happened so far. I'll try. Try, but don't interrupt me, bitch. Edgelord went off searching for the Promised Land so he could become the ruler of planet five years ago. Then Edgelord came back and killed President Shinra. And then just now all of us saw the Edgelord. He was carrying Geneva with him. This much I do know. He told me he wants to go to the Promised Land with his mother, Geneva. I guess that's about it. Dock workers, we will be docking in Costa del Sol in five minutes. Is anyone left alive on this fucking ship? We should hide somewhere again. Grab that materia, because now we have our third summon, which is Ifrit. Ifrit and uh, Shiva are some of the most recognizable ones, I think. Edgelord is alive. The Promised Land, does it really exist? Yes. Kind of. Actually, yes. Kind of. Oh, sorry if that's a spoiler. Ooh, man. So I think that's probably a pretty good way to end the stream with a pretty sick boss battle and some Sephiroth dropping. What's up, Mumbin? Uh, the grind is going well. I hate to say it, but you came in right at the end of the stream. Uh, this is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, we've been streaming it quite a bit lately, um, so if you leave us a follow, uh, you'll get a notification for the next time we stream it, which will probably be tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't know if that works for you, but you can also find the, uh, the, the, the archives of the stream over on our YouTube channel, which is below. You've never heard of Final Fantasy VII? That's kind of surprising, actually. I don't know if I believe you or not, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, 20-year-old JRPG, uh, hugely popular at the time, uh, very popular now. Uh, still, there's a remake coming out for it in like 20 years when Squaresoft gets their fucking act together on developing it. Um, and there are a lot of people excited for it. Anyways, but I sure feel better now that I can say goodbye to the sailor suit. Yo, listen up. Y'all be sure to mingle like regular folks here. Oh, too bad. I like Kanye's sailor suit. He looks so cute. You went from Final Fantasy 4 to 9. No kidding. Uh, 7 was a good one. 7 is probably the most popular one. Um, never even heard. I feel like you're being slightly facetious. <laughs> what do you mean, cute? Right, well, uh, Kanye, why don't you use that sailor suit for pajamas? Right, Clegs? I guess. This line is great. You look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. <laughs> the hell's that supposed to mean? This happens to me to be this happens to be the most comfortable. Under a rock? No, not a rock. <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> puff puff. Would you kindly hurry? The heat here is drying my nose. Henta, yeah, mine too. Alright. We'll take a break and then we'll head off. Don't wander too far off. Alright, so we'll do. I'll wander wherever the, wherever I damn well want. Who made him the leader? Hey, don't bother looking for me. Don't look for hentai? Damn it. <laughs> we named all of our characters stupid things. Maybe I should get a tan for a change. Which do you like, Kligs? Maybe a healthy tan is nice, or I like fair complexions. Let's go with the healthy tan. Got it. I'll remember that. I need to look good for you. Let's talk to these assholes. If I remember correctly, something funny or dumb happens here. But a bunch of hardworking deckhands like you wouldn't understand. On the marine blue sea, gazing at the eternal skies that seem to go on forever, gives you the feeling like you're taping, taking a nap on the wing of a Cessna. It's the ultimate high. Yeah, this is a good game, Mumbin. Um, I would recommend uh, picking it up and playing it if you're a fan of the Final Fantasies. Um, the, 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 uh, what's the wrong, 
what's the word I'm trying to say here? The 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 uh, game mechanics and battle mechanics and everything are actually pretty basic compared to some of the other Final Fantasies. It, it was probably the perfect entry point for a ton of people, and I know it was the entry point for the series for a ton of people. Oh, shit. I already talked to this. I don't give a shit. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. I want to go talk to this helipad guy. Currently playing Final Fantasy eight, and the magic system is weird. Yeah, um, this one doesn't have that weird magic system, luckily. Oh, crap. The manager of Shinra won't come down, even though the president's here on business. All he does is play, forgetting everything to do with work. Look at that asshole up there. Can we talk to him? No, we can't, unfortunately. Darn. Yeah, Final Fantasy VIII has some incredibly weird systems. This one is very basic. It's very satisfying. It works. It's good. Um, I would highly recommend this one. The amount of customizability in this one um, is less than Final Fantasy VIII, um, but it's still good enough to where you can set up pretty much any character to do whatever you want with the character. So you can set up any character to be your any character to be your magic user, or your physical damage dealer, or your defense character, or your healer, um, which you lost out on in a lot of the other games because a lot of the other games every character kind of has a you know a class. Um, which I get both of the systems, but I kind of like this one because you can say, I want this character to do this, but then if you can't use that character for some reason, you can switch in another character to do the same thing. What a long boat ride that was. Good work, everyone. What a pretty resort place. Ha ha ha, hurry up with that. Yes, sir. Heard Edgelord was on board. Yes. And it seems Cliggs and the others were on board too. Yes. They all slipped through. You messed up big this time, Heidegger. I'm ashamed of myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that all you can do? Give one word answers and apologize for everything? Ready for departure, sir. I own 5,000 hours in PlayStation 1 version of Final Fantasy IX. I need a remaster and a remake. Do something, I'll be expecting results. Um, that would be nice if they did remasters and remakes. You can actually, you can pick it up on Steam. Um, I don't think they've added anything to it, but, I mean, it's still a great game. Um, damn, 5,000 hours. Pretty good. Did he just throw those people in the water? Yeah, he fucking did. That's funny. He's always beating people up because he's such an incompetent piece of shit. Alright, so let's see. Let's head in here. There's an apartment you can buy. You can just straight up buy it. Feels so great. Just a little longer. Oh! Actually, I think you can buy it right now. This is embarrassing. Take your time and look around. By the way, are you seriously considering buying? What the heck do you mean? What are you selling? This fucking resort house. Are you pulling my leg? I'm talking about this house. This villa used to belong to President Shinra and only recently came back on the market since he was fucking murdered. How do you like it? This large lot comes fully furnished with the goose down bed. There's even a basement. Boot. If I remember correctly, you have to buy it to get the stuff out of the basement because it pops with, like, uh, source stuff. The villagers call it the Shinra Villa. Of course, we're not giving it away. How much is it? Plan to buy it without a dime on you? Well, I'll tell you the price just for your information. It's a steal of 300,000 gil out of your range. Out, go on, out. Fuck you. Um, you'd buy this later and you just have a villa. Oh, I guess you don't need to buy it to get all this stuff. Oh, those items are free, so please help yourself. It also comes with this random weird slave desk worker in the basement. Motor drive, which I think is a really good weapon for uh, honkers, actually. Is that her? That is her double one. We'll probably, um, I'll switch to that um, later on when I get to uh, grinding again, which like I said, won't be for a while. Um, and won't be on camera, for sure. It won't be on stream. Let's head down here. Let's talk to you. What you got? Aren't you bored? Yeah, we fight a lot. Isn't that good? You're just expecting too much. Okay. So we're actually looking for a save point at this point. I don't know where to find one. 
How about a soft as a memento of this wonderful trip? Actually, we will buy a soft here. Because right, once we get out of town here, we're going to be running into enemies that can petrify us. So we got that, we got that. Okay, we've got pretty much everything we need. Let's see. We've got a save point in here. No, nope, but look at Kanye checking himself out in his fucking <laughs> sailor suit. Hey, yo, someone's in here, all right? Also, the funny sound of him shooting at the door. I think we can run into... I think it's after a story thing that's going to happen here. But, uh... We can actually run into a uh, martyr at some point around here. Oh, uh, God, God, I feel awful. With the big sailor? It wasn't me. I don't know. Wrong guy. Puts us in a bad situation. That guy's taken over the John. He hasn't even paid his hotel bill yet. Is he just jacking off in his sailor suit in the bathroom all the all day? Checking in. Would you please pay his bill too? Oh shit. Yo, Clig, still too early, ain't it? I don't know. Oh yeah, grinding is definitely a way of life and a staple. Come on now, he's a friend of yours, Fibber. What now? Call it a night? 200 gil? Or gil? No. Is there... Can I check out anything over there? No, I cannot. Okay. We'll look through a couple more places. What's up with this guy here? We're lucky to have that cutie working for us part-time. Oh, hey, it's Yuffie. <laughs> She's just randomly working here, selling materia. Heal, revive, restore. Seal fire. Okay, we've got we've got everything here. We don't need to buy any new materia yet. One, two, three, here we go. Fuck your ball. Fuck your ball. Fuck your game. I'ma do it. Fuck y'all kids. I'm having fun. Rick squad. No. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It's the ocean. A creepy man was signaling for us to come. I was too scared to come here. Bad translation there. Hey look, it's Johnny. What's with you? Hey, is it you? We were in Soldier and childhood friends before that. You were such a playboy and a fucking murderer. What the what? what? Why can't I remember your name? I'm Cliggs, and don't you forget it. You think you're good enough to go around bragging about who you are? I don't want to hear it. Hey, no more mumbling for me. From now on, I'm starting a new life. I'm sorry about that. He's had some big shocks lately and is pretty depressed. Hurry up and get out of here. I'm happy like this, so keep out of my life. Wow. Fuck you, buddy. Sexy lady, oh my god! Apparently they're running around looking for dudes. Let's talk to these guys. Yeah, snowboarding's what's happening this year. I'm sick of surfing. There's a, that's a reference to something that's going to be going on later. I'm trying to talk to you, girl. Can't stand hot places. On order, we're out of that now. I really like this town. Walk around nearly naked and nobody will look twice at you. If you don't buy from me, I can't make ends meet. Okay. Uh, we're gonna buy. No, we're not gonna buy. We're gonna buy three of those. And we're gonna buy. two of these. So now we're able to equip even more materia at this point. Oh, no, I wanna go to the actual equip. There we go. I want to go with the carbon bangle. What do you have equipped down there? Nothing. So I could do that, or I could go double. And we're going to go double with her for now. And then he's got four slots. We're not switching that out until we get um, words I can't think of. Yeah. Hey, I thought you'd drop by. It's one, two, four fishes all together. Not bad. What she's talking about, she's hanging out in the window up here. I don't know if she'll be here now. Yeah. The idea is she's supposed to be, like, grabbing everybody's attention. Let's see. Can I go out here? Yes, I can. Okay. So, we still have some more stuff to do in Costa del Sol, but uh, it's fucking 2 in the morning where I am, so my ass needs to go to bed because I actually have some important things to do tomorrow. Uh, so I want to thank everybody that came out for uh, the stream, and I want to thank everybody who's watching this over on our YouTube channel. Mumbin, thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, if you guys liked what you saw, uh, you should definitely leave a follow. Uh, I would highly appreciate 
any follows that you guys would want to leave. Um, I'm Jeff, and this is my channel. Uh, once again, like I said, we have a YouTube channel where we archive these, so you can go over there and watch this here again, and a lot of the other videos we have over on the YouTube channel. We also do a bunch of funny one-off videos and like Let's Plays in 108060. Uh, currently, we're running through Resident Evil 5. Me and a buddy are doing the, uh, the co-op. It's actually hilarious. Um, so if you like that kind of stuff, you should definitely check that out too. Uh, and subscribe there if you like the content over there. Uh, I would appreciate that as well. Uh, let's see. There's a, a link to our Twitter below. Uh, our Twitter is where we post updates on what we're going to be streaming and when. Uh, that's probably going to be your best bet for um, uh, finding out updates, except for following, of course. Um, yeah. So that's me. That's uh, the stream for the evening. Once again, I want to thank everybody who came out. I genuinely appreciate your time, and I hope to see you next time. Bye now. Have a good night, yo.